Ashburn was the venue for the winner-take-all match between Leinster and Munster in the final Interpro of the season. Both teams went into the game knowing that a win would guarantee the title. And with that in mind, the opening ten minutes of the game was slow to get going, with both teams battling hard at scrum time and trying to get a foothold in the game. Munster settled the better of the two teams, boosted by facing a Leinster team sheet that had key players missing with injury. Leinster grew into the contest as the first half went on, with their impressive captain, Mary Louise Riley, dominating the lineouts for the home side. Munster grew in belief, and the first try of the game went their way after 25 minutes when Nicole Fitzgerald spun a great pass to Asling Hutchins, who released Neil Kavanagh on the left wing to run in unopposed. Unfortunately for Munster, Neve Briggs failed to convert. That sparked Leinster into life. Their pressure told on 33 minutes when Captain Mary Louise Riley was able to power through the resilient Munster defence to get Leinster back in the game. In the absence of Nora Stapleton, Riley took on the kicking duties and converted to put Leinster 7-5 in front. Munster had a great opportunity on 38 minutes to score just before half-time when Leinster were penalised by the referee Johnny Erskine for pulling down in the line-out, but Neve Briggs didn't manage to convert the opportunity. Munster came out of the traps quickly in the second half, driving at the Leinster defence with the power they demonstrated in the first half. Their quick start paid off on 45 minutes when a sweeping passing move involving Nicole Fitzgerald, Claire Kilhane and Ashley Hutchins on the right-hand side to run in for a try. Neve Briggs unusually couldn't deliver the extras. Leinster fought back again and their efforts were rewarded in the 49th minute when back row Aoife Ryan managed to touch the ball down despite the efforts of the Munster defence. Unfortunately for Leinster, Riley couldn't manage to convert. A sustained period of pressure from Leinster followed and Munster were pinned deep inside their own half but crucially Leinster couldn't add another score as the Munster defence held strong. Having survived the Leinster onslaught without conceding a point, Munster visibly grew in belief and when they managed to win a penalty in Leinster's half, on 70 minutes they seemed to take hold of the game. They turned their pressure into points when tight head prop Gillian Burke was able to score a crucial try. The try was not converted but Munster's tails were up and time was running out for Leinster. The final whistle was met with great celebrations from the Munster players, fans and staff and Leinster were left disappointed that they couldn't quite manage back-to-back -back wins of the title. Both teams gave it their all on the day in Ashburn, but it was Munster who had just enough on the day to take the title by 15 points to 12.